Tesla has already revolutionized the automobile industry by showing everyone that electric vehicles are the future. With the inevitable decline of battery costs and increase in energy density, EVs will without a doubt become cheaper, faster, and have a longer driving range. This is all great, but the majority of Tesla's potential doesn't lie in the automobile sector anymore. Elon Musk has long stated that Tesla energy will eventually become larger than Tesla's vehicle segment. And I'm not talking about Tesla solar panels or power walls. I'm talking about the Tesla Megapack, a product that will soon break the power plant industry and power the world. In this video, I'm going to go over the recent breakthroughs made by Tesla's Megapack projects, which includes the UK's $932 million savings and much more. Welcome to Kazgan's Academy. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content like this and let's get right into it. Some of you may not be very familiar with the Mega Pack, and rightfully so. The Mega Pack is not available for people like you and I. Tesla bears have long said that Tesla is a car company, but are missing the key part to Tesla's future. In essence, the Tesla Mega Pack is a collection of a series of batteries placed in a large box. This storage allows you to regulate aspects of the batteries, such as thermal regulation. With up to 3 megawatt hours of energy storage, the Mega Pack has a wide variety of uses. For example, Using Tesla's autonomous software program named the Autobidder, the Megapack can actually make money trading energy. Energy prices fluctuate in a rather predictable way, as during times of peak demand, energy prices are higher, and at night, when there is less demand for energy, prices decline. The Megapack allows you to take advantage of this price difference, as you can purchase energy at midnight, store that energy in the Megapack, and sell it at noon. Essentially, this means that the Tesla Megapack is buying low and selling high with energy. However, the use of buying low and selling high with energy goes far beyond money. During the day, demand often exceeds the amount of energy power plants can produce. This is where peaker power plants come into play. Peaker power plants are highly inefficient power plants that are focused on generating energy during times of high demand. Built to only run a few hours a day at maximum, peaker plants release a high amount of nitrogen oxide in order to maximize profits. Over the past decade, New York City alone has spent $4.5 billion on peaker power plants which according to studies, account for over 10% of nitrogen oxide emissions. By selling energy during peak hours, the Megapack lessens the need for peaker power plants and will eventually make it go obsolete. In addition to reselling energy, the Tesla Megapack also allows cities to continue to run during power outages. This, as you can probably guess, makes even more money. During times of power outages, energy prices skyrocket, allowing the Megapack to generate a boatload full of money. With all of this passive income, the Megapack easily pays itself off over time, similar to solar panels. Now this is all great, but most of you are probably wondering, how much potential are we actually talking about here? Lux Research, a well-known research firm located in New York City, released a research report on the stationary storage market in 2019. What they ended up estimating was that by 2035, the market size and revenue per year would become $111 billion. This, in my opinion, is actually an underestimate. With declining battery costs and increasing energy density, the Megapack will continue to innovate to a point where peaker power plants do not make sense on any economic basis. Lux Research estimated that stationary energy storage would take over 40% of the global market, but many disagree by stating that battery storage will take over 100% of the market given the rise of promising battery technology. One of these people that disagree is Chamath Palihapitiya, a famous venture capitalist who invested early in Amazon, Apple, Facebook, and Tesla. When Chamath invested early in Tesla, he saw the eventual acceleration of electric vehicles. Recently, when he went on CNBC, he explained that the potential in EVs is not the market to focus on anymore. EVs have the potential to be worth hundreds of billions, but that potential is already priced in. Chamath is focused on the potential trillions in the energy market. As Chamath mentions in the following clip, many Tesla bears do not see the potential in the Megapack or even know of it. Yet Megapacks, power walls, and solar panels will become an integral part of Tesla's future business. And so what we're going to see now is that the stock is going to become part of the S&P 500. It is the leading edge when it comes to electrification and decarbonization. And here's the thing, Andrew, what the bulls will get right and what the bears will ignore from here is that this is no longer about cars that that's the first wave of growth 
And I think people are pricing in an evisceration of traditional autos and an enormous shift to EVs of which Tesla will get the disproportionate share. So now what is the bet? If you ask me as an investor who loves that company, it was in page four or five of their quarterly earnings release where they talk about the energy business. And they said a couple of interesting things. The first is that it was profitable. And the second is that they're also producing software now that allows effectively anybody to become a distributed utility. Now think of that for a second. You are talking about one of the most predictable, reasonable businesses that have raised hundreds of billions and trillions of dollars of debt. And what Tesla is going to do with their battery packs and their software is all of a sudden allow each of us to be in the energy business as well. Again, people will get angry. They will not understand. They will try to push back and they will be wrong. And what's going to happen is that this stock is now going to represent the totality around decarbonization and sustainability. So it was really great to own this thing around cars for the first four years. I did it. I made a lot of money. But now I underwrite this company as a bet towards decarbonization, towards deregulated energy, and towards the ability for all of us to become our little micro utilities. Chamath sees the potential in energy as greater than that of electric vehicles, and these claims are not baseless. As we'll soon cover, utility companies have been spending billions of dollars on mega packs, and most recently, the mega pack actually made a profit. What is that market worth, Chamath? I mean, I ask this because since the end of March, we've seen Tesla add about $200 billion in market cap. So the question is how much of that was captured um, in that run and how much more is there on the energy side of things? And I'm glad you picked on, up on that because I think it was the second thing that Elon Musk said off the top of the conference call. He talked about that business, which really shows you where it is positioned in his mind when it comes to the growth of this company. I mean, to your point, and by the way, the way you frame it is exactly correctly. He has been consistently giving us the trail of breadcrumbs to understand this business. He had a quote unquote secret plan that he published on the web. Then he updated that secret plan and published it yet again. So all you had to do was just read it and put together a reasonable one or two pager to underwrite the investment. And, you know, that's basically what I did. I try to force myself in these big decisions to simplify things versus complexify them. And he told you, by the way, in this earnings release, the next big push is going to be around energy and energy deregulation. So what is that worth? Melissa, this is worth trillions of dollars. And the reason is because if you look at the debt stacks and the earnings potential and the regulatory framework that has allowed local utilities to thrive, it is measured in hundreds of billions and trillions of dollars. And if individuals can get the solar panels, buy the battery packs and get essentially free software or low cost software, that allow us to collect the sun's energy and redirect it back into the grid, what you're going to see are utilities basically go upside down. And that was the class of debt that people would have told you is completely, completely the safest and basically would be you know, guaranteed yield ad infinitum. And I think in the next 20 years, you're going to see examples where that's not the case. Now, let's take a look at the recent results of Tesla's mega pack deals to give you a sense of how large we are talking about here. Tesla's Megapack sales have increased substantially over the past quarter. For example, Tesla recently secured a deal with Switch Energy and got a deal in Ventura, California worth about $200 million. Now these recent deals may sound quite small, but Tesla has shown the potential for much larger partnerships. Back in late 2017, the Australia Energy Market Operator, also known as AEMO, purchased $66 million worth of Tesla Power Packs, a smaller version of the Megapack as a test run. In under one year, the AEMO reported profits of $17 million, leaving an estimated payoff rate of 4 years. Because of how successful the power packs were, Australia has expanded that system to become the world's largest lithium-ion battery system and already has entered Phase 3, where Tesla will be powering 50,000 homes through solar panels, power walls, and mega packs. In addition to Australia, PG&E has announced that construction has started for its new mega pack project that will cost up to $384 million. According to PG&E's calculations, this will save around $100 million in the next 20 years. Countless other companies and governments have sealed a partnership with Tesla for Megapacks, including the UK, Northvolt, St. John Energy, Hawaiian Electric, Santa Barbara, and many more. While these deals are worth billions of dollars, the true potential is in the hundreds of billions, if not trillions. For the most part, many of these utility companies and governments are testing out the Megapack before purchasing more. As we saw with Australia, the results were shocking. And as more and more governments and utility companies realize the potential, more utility companies will go all in on the Megapack. Ultimately, 
The end goal will be to disrupt power plants. Solar's inevitable cost declines and increase in efficiency will eventually make it so economically appealing that utility companies will have no choice but to switch to solar or die off. In addition, the Megapack will also become a key portion of vertically integrating into the entire energy process, as it will replace peaker power plants and other forms of energy storage. Let me know whether or not you believe Tesla will be able to disrupt the power plant industry in the comment section below. Do you believe that battery energy storage will eventually take over power plants, or do you believe that there will be a technological barrier to declining costs? If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.